Oh, oh, this is a member of the Voice of Reason. Someone wants to ask me my pro-gun or anti-gun. Um, how do I feel on the stance on gun violence in America? Um, I'm a registered Democrat. Both times when Obama ran for office, I voted for him. I voted for Bernie Sanders. I did not vote for Trump, and I never and I did not vote for McCain. McCain John McCain was a good man, but um, I just thought Obama was a better choice. Now, I'm a registered Democrat, and I am pro-gun. I don't think we should take our guns away. I think that one day Scotland will be invaded by some other by some other foreign dictator. We have the United Nations, yeah. But our right to bear arms is the biggest deterrent from foreign invaders from sending their troops in to, uh, into, into our streets and parading us in the cages inside our own football stadiums. I don't know if any of you, ever, if, if any of you have ever seen the, the, the revamp of Red Dawn with Chris Hemsworth and Josh Peck, but that is a painful reminder as how the average, uh, average American civilian it will have inherited their freedom. They didn't have, we didn't have to fight for it. Most Americans nowadays are, are spoiled, selfish, and have a sense of entitlement that pisses a lot of other countries off. So to sit there and think that, with it, to sit there and think that we, um, to sit there and think that taking away our guns is a good idea altogether is arrogant, stupid, and and dangerous. Here's what I'll tell anybody who is anti anybody who's anti-gun. Um, can you speak? Uh, can you speak? Can you speak three or four different languages? Can you speak? Uh, can you speak? Um, can you speak the language of the countries that want to invade us? Can you speak Russian? Can you speak Chinese? Can you speak no Korean? Can you speak any of these languages? Because here's the thing: because um, because these are, these are these are superpowers with powerful militaries that can and um, that, that can with uh, that can parade our streets. They can power troop in here, point a gun in your face, and say, get moving. However, if you don't speak their language and listen to what they say, they're going to shoot you. Again, the average American today, is, we inherited our freedom. We didn't have to fight for it. Most Americans today are spoiled, selfish, and have a sense of entitlement that pisses a lot of other countries off. And they hate it. They hate it with a passion. So our right to bear arms is the only thing that keeps us from being invaded and that actually protects our freedom. There's a lot of other countries that don't have freedom. You know, however, to the countries that have freedom that took away their, their right to bear arms, they're going to be invaded by somebody else. And down. They're going to be invaded again. Sure, Scotland is free. Scotland is their own country again. They're going to be invaded again. Yeah, Britain they still have hunting rifles, you know. That's good. I'll give me, I give them maybe a, a five percent fighting chance. Scotland zero. See, the biggest thing that prevents uh, any for any other country from invading invading civilians and trying to take over a country and sacking a country and trying to trying to trying to dominate trying to you know, the whole world domination thing is when all the civilians are legally armed. So, the, the average American citizen's right to bear arms. I could rest a comfort and I know I could wake up and I don't have to worry about a foreign, um, a foreign military pointing a gun on my face so I can get moving. Do I have a bug out bag? Yes, I do have a bug out bag. I have a bug out bag um, for my ship for that very exact reason, and and I have <laughs> and I have to, and I have survival skills because I don't I, I don't have absolute faith I have a faith in this country anymore that people are not going to be fucking retarded and are not going to make the are going to make dumb choices. Okay, I'm being blunt and honest, but here's the thing: taking away our guns is by far the stupidest idea I've ever heard in my entire life. Yes, school shootings are bad. Shootings in, in malls and in movie theaters are bad. Citizens shooting at each other is bad. However, we have to consider we have, we have to consider the latter. The, um, we have to consider the latter. The latter, the fact. Latter, the fact is, you know, our right to bear arms is what protects our freedom. We're not liked, and we're not, and we're, we're not very popular among among the United Nations anymore. We're very hated around the entire planet. There's a lot of other countries that would be there chomping at the bit, itching for a chance to sit there 
and to take the butt end, uh, butt end of, uh, of, of a foreign assault rifle and smack it in the forehead of, 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 of a spoiled college brat. I can promise you that if ISIS had a chance, they would love to sit there and take every cheerleader, uh, pretty much flog them, whip them, and then force them to wear a burqa. Bottom line, these, these, these I know, I know it sounds, I know it sounds very, very harsh, but you know, that's what ISIS wanted to do to America. What kept them from doing it? A right to bear arms. So I'm progressive, and we need to move forward. I'm for gay rights. No, I'm for you know I'm for you know pretty much people having absolute freedom to be to life liberty and the pursuit of happiness. I'm, I'm very I'm for anti-racism. I'm for the I'm for Obamacare. You know I'm for all these things, but I'm pro-gun. In fact, we should be handing out more guns and having the average American civilian should at least know how to load and fire one. Why? Because in the event that that happens, you at least know what to do. Before I was the age of, of, um, of 18, my mom insisted on the fact that I knew how to fire a gun. I'm glad she did. Because in the event that, that ever, something like that ever happens, I at, least know, I at least know the basics. Take the safety off, load it, fire it. Don't point it at anybody that's not shooting at you. So yeah, that's my standpoint on, 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 pretty much on why, the, why, why, why the Second Amendment is there. Changing that would be the stupidest and dumbest thing you could possibly do ever in this country. Considering how hated we are by a lot of other countries, there's a lot of other there's a lot of other terrorists and underground mil foreign militant groups that are chomping at the bit to, to invade our to, to invade to invade our streets and point guns in our faces. This is a member of the voice of reason. Oh, 